Here I have my steering wheel controls plugged in to a port, um, which is WR is what it says on the back, which is wired remote. Um, these are, this is the aftermarket harness. Um, yes, I know that's duct tape. It's not all perfect, but these are a bunch of cords we don't need. Um, the ones that are the most important, if you look at your Pioneer or uh, whatever uh, cables you have, whatever stereo you use is your ground, your accessory, your power, and your illumination. Uh, these are the only four wires that I used. Um, and then um, basically these wires connect to this harness that you buy so that you can use the fiber optic amp still, have great stereo sound, um, and still use everything. Um, I'm gonna go over this kit here more in a second. Um, in the back here, you need a conversion uh, for the stereo antenna, which is only five bucks at Best Buy. Um, this converts it so that it can plug into the stereo. Uh, Land Rover has a specific antenna jack that doesn't fit in your aftermarket radio. Um, I'm also installing a Sirius XM uh, thing for the back of here, which I'm gonna do here in a second. Um, this is your kit that makes everything work. I don't know what magic it does. Access makes it. Um, these guys here um, convert signals so that it can be used through the fiber optic. There's steering wheel controls. Here you can see this plugs into the factory harness. Um, and this is what your other cords are going to, to your aftermarket um, here. Um, this is not your steering wheel. So this is plugged into the fiber optic cable here, converting the signal and letting the Harman Kardon amp work. Um, this guy is your steering wheel controls here, which uh, one, after you plug in, turn on, you will hold down the volume button and put the key in the on position. The LEDs will flash, letting it know it's programming. Um, and then they'll go solid for like 18 seconds and then, or, or, or blink, blink 18 times, I'm sorry. And then they'll just go solid, meaning it's been programmed. Your steering wheel controls work. Um, your mode button and your power, your uh, volume up and down works. Uh, your left or right doesn't really work, I don't believe. Um, that was through Bluetooth, so maybe it works through CarPlay. Um, I'm going to show you the video of everything installed. This is obviously the first part of the video. Um, I mean, I could show you the install uh, earlier parts, but really this, all you're doing is connecting these butt connectors to four cables here. Um, and then you plug your uh, RCAs into the front amplifier um, parts of the aftermarket radio. Um, I couldn't find even a write-up. Everyone is tearing their stereos out and destroying them um, because you really need this access kit uh, for it to function just how it does stock. And um, I'll go over it more in the next part of the video. So here are the parts for the install that I used. I'm gonna go over each of them real quick. Um, this is probably the most important piece. I see people gutting their radios and destroying their sound systems um, because you have to use a factory amp to use your Harman card on. Um, this AX-LR90092, which has an updated part number, um, which I'll, I'll put later in the video. This is what allows you to use your most 25 fiber optic cable and retain your steering wheel controls, mode, channel change, volume, and even Bluetooth answer. Um, and you'll see this kit um, installed later in the video. Um, this I've already put in the vehicle, um, but this is just your dash kit panel. As you can see below, this is what takes up the extra space and allows you to mount your uh, head unit. Um, this is a Metro unit 95-9404B. And this guy, I think it was $299. This allows Apple CarPlay. Um, I don't remember the Android version of that. Um, it has Bluetooth uh, for phone, uh, Bluetooth music, uh, Sirius XM. Um, pretty awesome uh, how, how, how cheap this unit is compared to Kenwood and some other ones. Um, really uh, love what this unit provides. Um, and then just a Sirius XM tuner, uh, the antenna and the tuner that plugs in the back of the radio. Okay, in this part of the video, I have removed the upper navigation system to pull wires out and route them to the necessary locations. So they're not all just jammed up back here. This is just for the navigation at the top. Here are all the boxes. Uh, uh, 
radio converter here. Everything is kind of just all over the place. You really need to push them down below the AC vents here and then tuck some behind here and here as well in order to make sure that this guy fits and then the ACs go back in. They kind of bevel up so you do have a little bit of room and I will put up a video for the next part here in a second. All right guys, here is the finished deal. Um, finished with the uh, install of the Pioneer head unit AVH-1550NEX. Uh, see if I can focus here. Here is the CarPlay menu. Um, I'm hooked up right now to my phone here. The USB that comes out of the bottom of this unit here. Um, so as you can see, and I flipped this menu to the right side. I was kind of playing around with things. I'll probably put it back over that side. But obviously all my Spotify playlist, I can turn the volume up on the stereo control. Uh, stereo sounds better than it did. Uh, just stock, it's pretty impressive. You can change all the uh, all the stations or music here. You can do the same through Sirius. Um, if I wanna get out of this, I can hit the mode button at the top. Um, let's say I wanna go ahead and use the Google Maps serious uh i mean not serious um you can do it through carplay here um and then i'm not quite familiar with how to exit okay here we go so now we're on serious and i got my presets here and which you can navigate through as well using the buttons so that all works and then um this is your drop down here and this is the making sure that the radio works, the FM. Um, you do need that cable I was talking about. I think it's five bucks because the regular plug-in for the radio on the Land Rover, of course, it's different. So it needs to convert to a regular like three, um, uh, 3.5 millimeter jack, I think it is. Um, and then, so you can do, you can Bluetooth through Spotify, which then it, it, it can go ahead and do it that way and play. So there's, there's many different ways to play through it. Um, one of the most awesome features is that you can answer the phone here off of these. Um, and this Bluetooth mic does sound pretty well. Um, so you guys stop chopping up your stereos. You need to get that access conversion kit. I will uh, talk, I will uh, give you the part number for that again. Um, the new updated part number. Yeah, so uh, this thing is awesome and really has enabled us to keep this car because I was going crazy. I was just gonna get an LR4 with updated technology. Uh, my wife didn't want a car payment and this thing worked out. So um, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask me. I know I didn't do a great job in, uh, of the install video. This is super simple. I, I, I hate electronics, honestly. I'm a mechanic, but I hate, I hate electronic problems. And so this was not up my alley, but still, uh, totally easy to do with that kit. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.